Okay, so XJ Bikes asked me to do a uh, carb sink how-to, I guess. Well, you guys asked for it, so here it is. Anyway, um, I've got my Maxim here, all warmed up, and uh, she's ready for a carb sink. I let her idle for a good long time out here in the cool outside, open ventilation. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop off the seat and lift the gas tank. These ammo boxes really help because I can just keep stuff right in there. They're super cool. Um, I like to use a tool of some sort of prop. I'll pop the gas tank up. I've got small hands, so I kind of get in there pretty easy. All right, so you got your carb sink tool, one, two baby bottles, and these are the two hoses that go to the vacuum nipples. Let me show you those if you can see them real fast. Those bad boys right there. Ting ting with vacuum nipples. All right, there's one on each intake. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. I've synced these just the other day, so I'm just gonna show you how to how to do them. You're gonna pop these caps off, right? One of those, and on number two, right? All right, so I don't have a vacuum petcock, so I run. So I just have to take off the nipples. All right, when you have a vacuum petcock, it's usually on number two, and you're gonna put that on number three or number four or something like that. You know, just an open vacuum nipple. It's just gotta get vacuum to get gas to it. I have an on-off valve, so it goes on, off, reserve. Um, so I don't have to worry about that at all. So I'm gonna take one of these and put them on the vacuum nipple. Number one and number two. All right, so ideally you wanna start with uh, two and three, uh, get your middle set first, and then you want to do one and two, and then you want to do three and four. And I always double check with two and three again, just at the end, just to be sure nothing's really changed. Usually changes by like a couple millimeters, but nothing, nothing significant. But I would go over it just because that's how I am with bikes anyway. All right, so um, I've got about a hundred uh, cc's of fluid in here on this one so i'm going to keep my eye on on that one um basically you don't want them to be moving you don't want one bottle to keep getting more than the other you want them just to sit level with each other that's what you want to do you know so no fluctuation in there so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you can see them moving Right, right, so virtually no change. They kind of got the same fluid in them, so that's kind of what you're looking for. And there's them attached to the vacuum nipples. So, anyway, I mean, and then you, uh, and then you go on and repeat to three and four. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but down here, right where my screwdriver is, there's a, there's a screw, and that's what you turn to change it. To the left, we'll probably fill up the uh, well, whatever bottle you connected it to, and then the right will fill up with whatever bottle bottle you connected it to. So you just want it to be even, have an even flow. Um, so yeah, do two, two and three, and then one and two, and then three and four, and then back to two and three. I mean, all, overall it takes like 20 minutes after you warmed it up. I mean, it's not that bad. Make sure you got a fully charged battery because those might die on you. So um, anyway, if this wasn't thorough enough or anything, just a uh, Shoot me a PM or hit on the post or something like that. So, all right, y'all be easy. Bye.